Number one practice for everything, sleep especially, is try and get some natural light in your eyes within an hour of waking up. If you wake up before the sun, turn on a bunch of bright lights and then get sunlight in your eyes once it comes out. So try and get five to 10 minutes without sunglasses outside in the morning once the sun is out. Most days, if not all days. This has an outsized effect on a number of things. First of all, it modulates the timing of what's called the cortisol pulse. Once every 24 hours, you're gonna get a boost in cortisol, big spike in cortisol, it's a healthy boost. It sets your temperature rhythm in motion, sets your level of alertness, your level of focus and your mood. You want that cortisol pulse to happen as early in the day as possible. What's triggering the cortisol pulse? The cortisol pulse is naturally entrained by these genetic programs to happen once every 24 hours, but light will anchor it to the period where you see bright light. Got it. So imagine the kid that wakes up and spends the morning in bed, or you spend the morning in bed and you're texting, or you're indoors and you're typing on the computer. That's not enough light to accomplish what I'm talking about. And then you go outside around noon or one, you're in what's called the circadian dead zone, which is the time in which light arriving at the eyes can do certain things, but it can't time this pulse. That means that cortisol pulse is gonna come in the afternoon, which means that your temperature rhythm is gonna be shifted late. And that's actually a signature of depression and anxiety and, and difficulty falling asleep. This is a huge, huge effect for the following reason. The signal that arrives from the eyes to the hypothalamus also triggers the release of the neuromodulator dopamine. We hear about dopamine as a feel-good molecule, dopamine, 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 uh, dopamine hits. But dopamine's main role in the brain and body is to drive motivation, craving, and pursuit. It is not the molecule of pleasure, it is the molecule of drive. It is life force. And you may notice you said we crave sun. It also does make you feel good. Why? Well, it turns out that light to the eyes, but also light to the skin. The skin is an endocrine organ. It's not just something to tattoo and hang earrings from and put clothing on. When UVB, ultraviolet blue light, penetrates the skin, because it can penetrate the skin superficially, triggers these keratinocytes to stimulate a pathway that releases dopamine in the brain and body. So you feel better when you're getting light in your eyes and on your skin, and you're increasing testosterone and epinephrine and dopamine increase. That's why you feel good in the summer months. So you wake up, getting sunlight in your eyes will enhance the cortisol pulse. Cortisol is gonna further increase in body temperature. Exercising will increase body temperature. Somewhat paradoxically, getting into a cold shower or cold water, guess what happens? Core body temperature goes up. So if you're gonna do ice baths or cold showers, you can do, I would say, do them sometime better than not at all. And there's the whole thing relative to training we talk about. but early in the day would be better. So if you are trying to build habits and you look to the neuroscience of habit building, you would be wise to put certain habits at the early part of the day and certain habits at the later part of the day. I call phase one of the day from zero to nine hours after waking. That period of the day, assuming that you're getting that sunlight exposure and a little bit of movement, but even if you're just getting some sunlight exposure, is going to be associated with high epinephrine, high dopamine, slightly higher cortisol. Certain habits we could call linear habits. It's, it, these are things that you know how to do and you just need to do them. And so those sorts of habits would go well in that zero to nine hours period. Then phase two, and these aren't absolute phases, but that go from about 10 hours till about 16 or 17 hours after waking. We tend to be a little bit sleepier. We tend to be a little bit calmer, at least, not necessarily sleepy, we tend to be a little bit calmer it's clear that other habits that have to do with what we call non-linear brain operations, things like creative writing, brainstorming with a group, brainstorming with yourself, analytic work that is where there is no clear right answer. It's not plug and chug, it's more exploratory. Go best in the second phase, phase two. And then of course, there's the 17 to 24 hours which is phase three. And during that time, you want to be engaging one set of habits, which is sleep. 